What's up everybody? Today I'm going to explain the importance of having a solid voltage reading at your fuel pump. Now, why am I even talking about voltage at the fuel pump? So if you don't know, the job of the fuel pump takes fuel from the gas tank, pumps it into the motor. It needs to have a solid voltage in order to apply a solid amount of fuel pressure to the motor. If that voltage drops, that means your fuel pressure drops and not enough fuel is actually going to be delivered. What does that mean in a rotary? Well, if you don't have enough fuel, you start to run lean. When you run lean, that means you have too much air and not enough fuel. When that happens in a rotary, things go boom. So I want to avoid that at all costs because my goal for this build is to make it reliable and durable. And I want it to last a long time, so longevity is important. Now what I'm doing today in this test is I'm measuring the voltage drop that occurs from the front of the harness all the way to the rear of the harness. Now on the RX-7, there's a fuel pump resistor relay located at the front right beside the passenger headlight. That is what distributes the voltage all the way to the back of the car to the fuel pump. The harness in the RX-7 is really old. I mean, this is a 30-year-old car. The harness simply doesn't transmit the voltage as effectively as it once did back in the 80s. I'll be measuring the voltage drop that occurs across the harness. If it's a significant amount, that's probably a sign that I need to rewire the fuel pump. For this test, I start with some wire cutters, some wire crimps that are not pictured here, a voltmeter, an assortment of splice connectors, and a couple strands of wire, and maybe some electrical tape in case you need it. I then splice into the wire that runs to the fuel pump from the front to the rear. Before I begin testing, I do a quick check with the car idling, and I can see that the voltage is around 9 volts at idle. Now I'm ready to test. So, from my test, I was able to conclude there's a 0.5 voltage drop from the front of the car to the rear of the car. In my opinion, this is enough of a drop to make me want to rewire the fuel pump. You gotta remember, I did this test at a light electrical level. The electrical system didn't have to power the headlights, any radio, no AC, well, I don't have AC, or anything else for that matter which actually will more replicate what I'll be driving on the track because when I drive on the track, I don't use any of those functions. And I very rarely drive the track at night where I need the lights on. But it would be interesting to see how these results would vary when you have a heavy load on the system. Maybe I'll do that next for the next test. But this quick test was simply to determine if I needed to rewire the fuel pump before I actually install it. And that's what I'll be doing next in the next episode. Thanks for watching this quick clip, and I'll see you guys again.